is Emerson Swinford and this is my video lesson on Terry Kath's great solo on the classic 25 or 64 by the band Chicago. I break the solo down into 11 phrases to make it easier to digest and I'll slow the phrases way down and talk you through each section. Um, I'm going to put tablature in a link below on my website and you can um, get that for like five dollars but if you can't afford five dollars you can still follow along on the lesson here for free and uh, please click subscribe for more guitar related videos and content all right let's get started okay so i switched over to this other guitar basically because it has the dots and makes it easier to uh, follow along um, I'm going to break down each phrase here and you're going to hear me playing along with Terry's original solo at about half speed. I found his isolated guitar solo on YouTube and I slowed it down using an app called the Amazing Slow Downer. And I highly recommend that app because it, it slows things down but keeps them at pitch. Um, I'm going to pan my guitar to one side and Terry's to the other. And if you have headphones, you can check out more of Terry's original by taking an earpiece off. Okay, so here we go with phrase one. Okay, so let me slow that down even a little bit more. And again, slides into this first note. And that's a slide up from 10 to 14. Hammer. And there's a slide down from 14 to 9. Hammer, hammer on the D string, back to nine, slide to four, five, slide to one. And the next note of the next phrase is going to be this A. Okay, continuing on to phrase two. Again, I'm trying to go as slow as possible, but we're getting into a lot of notes here, and um, the tablature does have everything down precisely. Okay, phrase two. Okay, so like I said, yeah, a lot going on there. Um, starting from this G sharp from the previous phrase on the first fret G string, he moves up to the A, and then he slides into this A, and you can clearly hear him do that. Basically gets him up into the next position to start his run. Slide. Again, I'll do that much. Slide. Now I do this all on the B string. And that's basically because it's easier to pick at, at super fast speeds, that little run. And continuing on, now we go into this series of uh, kind of hammer on pull off slide, slidey stuff.
again one last time. Actually, I think that last bit is a hammer on. I'm going to do as slow as I can, starting from that descending bit. Okay, here we go with phrase three. So I'm going to slow that down a little bit more. And there's a lot of downstrokes where he's really digging in. Okay, so phrase four, this is a, a cool phrase and I've heard Terry use it quite a bit. It kind of sounds to me a bit uh, Clapton-esque. All right, check it out. A lot going on there now. Um, let's do it a little bit slower. And I'm going to start after that series of bends into what I call the Clapton lick, and then I'll do the whole thing over. Okay, and now the whole thing slow. Phrase five. So, uh, leaving from the previous phrase, um, you were on the A of the sixth string, fifth fret, and it comes into your first finger on the A string, third fret, and you does this little slide down and back up.
so I'm gonna do that much again. And then continuing on with a quick hammer. So basically, all these trills, he's picking uh, the downbeats at least to sort of reinforce them. It's actually easier at warp speed um, than breaking it down this slow. But I'm going to do the whole phrase one last time. And then the next phrase is going to slide all the way up to the 10th fret on your B string A note. try and break that down as slow as I can. And this little trill. Bend. Again. This little trill. Bend. So he's doing this thing where he's bending basically up to D, D and C sharp, but it's all bent and he's releasing and bending. And then bending C to B, again, bend, release. So one more time, I'll do it as slow as I can. And then on to the wah extravaganza. So obviously that's all with the wah, but to make it clearer for teaching, I'm not using the wah, so you can hear exactly what the guitar is playing. And he's mostly just going down, wow, 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 on the, the you know, when he's using the wah. So here it is, slow. Again, I'll try it as slow as I can. So that's a series of trills going down the Dorian scale, basically, 
and he wahs and picks each one of them, um, hitting the downbeats, basically. Uh. So one more time. Again, it's one of those things that's actually easier when you're doing it faster and um, got a little distortion on there. So basically that's slowed down. Again, all wad, um, mostly down beats he's doing. And I'll do it as slow as possible here. Okay, phrase 11 starts with a slide up to the 19th fret on your D string. And I'll do it again slow and, and talk through a couple things. I like the short bend, short bend, long. And that's a, a more of a release. So long release, long release. So check that little part out again. And that's basically the whole solo with the exception there's um, when they go back into the riff. Terry starts doing this. Just really quick. Uh, you know, five, but kind of choke. And that's the whole thing.